Ahoy there, Legion! Happy Halloween! Just so happens to be the Monday after a dev stream, so you know we got a recap and review for you. Console Squad! With all this talk of War Within, you might be wondering when you're ever gonna get an update. And if you have, I got some good news for you. They sent your most recent one up for certification on Friday, so that can arrive anytime between now and next week. It's gonna include the new Syndicate Melee Weapons, Vacuum Within, and the Index Preview, along with some performance boosts. I'll put a link in the description for you. Quick heads up that Barrow is scheduled to make his 50th visit this week week, so get your platinum ready for his upcoming supply of salty disappointment. The sortie token system idea is in fact not dead. They are revamping or outright replacing the sortie system with something new in the war within, but couldn't talk about it due to spoilers. Last time they mentioned it, it was closer to a Chuck E. Cheese's ticket for prizes system, and being able to wrangle RNG to our whims is always a plus. So hopefully it's more the frizzy pink gorilla up on the shelf, and less the flimsy spider ring in the display case. Speaking of war within, after the quest line's complete, we'll have access to a new assault mission type. It will feature multiple objective stages and emphasize stealth to avoid detection, but going loud is always an option. My only concern with this mode? Arqueen enemies can fly in to reinforce the Grenier. Rather they keep that stuff locked away within its porcelain throne, but uh, I'll give it a shot. Endless missions took a beating in the Void Explosion, and they're working to address that. But will this fix it? Well, it's up for y'all to decide. Using defense or survival as an example, the initial five waves or minutes will grant you traces as normal, as well as an item from your relic. At this point, you'll have the option to leave like you currently do, or stay and spend another relic for a chance at additional items or even more traces. Traces might actually drop better the longer you stay, but that could have just been them thinking out loud, so don't quote me on that. I prefer to get in and get out as quickly as possible, but hopefully this will appease the folks who want to stay in a mission longer. What are your thoughts on it, Legion? Think this is a good solution that'll keep you busy again, or does it need another boost? They did mention an idea for a potential alert-only relic that gave out different items than usually you could find in the void, but nothing concrete on that. The new bard frame was shown off, and it's... Quite flamboyant. The head frills flapping around guarantee I'm gonna need to swap to an alternate helmet. I still want to try it out due to the surprising feature of the ability to play your own music. I know, that's not a joke. We don't know how long the samples are gonna last or if it's a duration based loop or what, but we'll be able to program the tune our abilities play, which is a great little idea in itself. I don't even really care what the abilities are now. I haven't tinkered with music in a game since like APB, so at least this idea gets an early thumbs up from old Psycho. Ashes rework is likely shifting from a hold to a toggle, so good on DE for changing it to what actual players of the game thought up instantly. You'll likely get a crack at that with his upcoming deluxe skin, which is all but done. His model is finished and he's off to the animation department, unlike Mag, who's being sculpted live on stream, or Volt and Zephyr, who've been completely forgotten. As for the lightning round tidbits, replayable quests are coming in the very near future, Ember Prime might be making an appearance during the holidays, Frost's finally gonna have physics to his outfit, and Limbo's rework isn't entirely dead, as it will be out sometime after the War Within. Could be a few days, could be a few months, but anyone nervous about it, relax. It's Limbo! It's not like they can make it any worse. As the War Within's apparently a week or two away, they kept things pretty tight. But what are your thoughts, Legion? What news did you enjoy the most? Or maybe the least? And you can proactively choose Borrow's upcoming stock, as even without seeing it, it's likely a valid complaint. If this recap helped you out or brought a smile to your face, we'd be honored if you'd like, favorite, and share it with your fellow Tano. We always appreciate it when he does. As always, thank you for watching, and catch you next time, Legion. Take care.